Vipar Spectra just released their brand new bar style grow light, the KS5000. You know that I love bar style lights and I am super excited about this one. Let's get it unboxed and measure its par levels in a four foot by four foot tent. One of the most important things to me when ordering online is the packaging and they do not disappoint in that regard. I have cut the box along the side to make it easier to unbox on camera, but normally you would need to slide it all out the top of the box. This does give us a really good look at how things are packaged, however, and they did a fantastic job. In the front is a separate box that has the driver in it. We will unbox that as well in a minute. Then there is a nice block of foam between the bars, keeping them from getting banged around in shipping, along with a foam block on each end, keeping it in place. You can already see that this is a folding light, which means there is no assembly required. Just hook up the driver to the light and you are good to go. Here is the light folded up, but out of the box. You can see that the cords will connect to the driver, one for each half of the light. Once you unfold it, you can get a better idea of its size. It is 40 inches by 40 inches and has been built specifically to be used in a four foot by four foot tent. This is my favorite part about these bar style lights. The coverage is just so much more even than you can get with a board style light. Let's go ahead and open the other box and see what is inside there. As always, be super careful when cutting open boxes. You don't want to go too deep in there and cut or scratch something. You can see that we have the driver itself right in the center with the accessories on either side. There is the communication cable if you want to chain these lights together and you can connect up to a hundred of them, which is pretty insane. In the same bag is a power adapter as well. And while they are nice additions, I will just be setting them aside for now. The other bag has all of the included hanging hardware and then we can pull out the driver itself. Viper Spectra has gone a really interesting direction with the driver on this light in that it is not intended to be mounted on the light itself, ever. It has holes along the top that allow you to hang it inside the tent or on a bracket outside of the tent with plenty of cord length to do so. This leads to some really interesting possibilities for mounting. I will have ours hanging in the center of the tent up high in the front so that I can easily adjust it. I could hang it all the way down towards the bottom of the tent while we are popping seedlings to help keep that area warm. If you want to keep it out of the tent completely, you could easily hang it under a shelf or on a wall bracket or even from ceiling hooks. It really does give you a lot of possibilities and I'm excited to give it a go. The driver is enclosed in a really solid metal case, which should help with heat dissipation. It is a Sosun driver, which seems to be a pretty common manufacturer of the drivers for these bar style lights. You will have the wall plug on one side, which is fairly short, so if you do not have it hanging by your power strip, you will need to use an extension cord. On the other side are the power connectors for the lights, and this is considerably longer, which will give you a lot of options with where to hang it. The driver itself is adjustable, starting from zero, which is off. There are six total positions that you can click into. There is zero, 25, 50, 75, 100, and then EXT. If you want to chain them together, you would set all of the lights to EXT that you do not want to be the main controller. Other than that, there is just the two communication ports for chaining, and that's it. Looking back at the light, it is fully assembled out of the box, even the hanging hooks are already there. They are using Samsung LM301H LEDs, which are incredibly energy efficient. There are both 3K and 5K lights to give a nice light spectrum spread. They have also included OSRAM 660 nanometer infrared diodes, and they have six per bar on there for a total of 36 evenly spread across the light. The ends are capped off with a metal plate, though there are plastic protectors on there that you will want to remove before using the light. The side of the light has the Vipar Spectra logo on there, and that is it, adding to the clean lines of this light. The hinge mechanism is very sturdy and should hold up well to being hung in a tent for long periods. It does not lock into place, which isn't a big deal, but just be aware of that when hanging it. So, the light looks great. Let's get it mounted in the tent and measure the light levels. At a 16 inch height, the highest par reading is 972, which is more than you will likely ever need, and all of the corners are still above 600 par. This is an incredible light spread at this height and really shows that the dimensions of the light are working really well in a four foot by four foot tent. This light will pull 507 watts from the wall at full power, and it goes down from there as you dim the dial. At 75, it pulled 354 watts from the wall. At 50, it was pulling 241 watts. 
and at 25 it went down to 117 watts. The light is listed as pulling 500 watts plus or minus 3%, so we are right in line with that. At a 24 inch height, the highest reading is now at 834 par, and as the light gets raised, the par values are going to be even more leveled out with the light reflecting from the walls, which is why we grow intense. We took par readings with the light dimmed and averaged what the results were, which gives you the par X readings on the left. All of the readings shown on the screen are at full power, and to get the light levels at different dim settings, just multiply the shown par value by that number. For an example, the highest reading at 24 inches is 834, but if we have the light set to 50, we would multiply it by 0 .50 and get a result of 417, which will get you pretty close with all of the values shown. Moving up to 30 inches and the highest reading is at 723 par, and I will likely have the light hung here or at 36 inches above the canopy on the upcoming grow. I like using the largest lights in a tent that I can, as I want the light levels as even as possible across the canopy. This also lets me run the light at a lower dimmer setting, which will help to reduce the amount of heat in the tent and also extends the life of the light. Speaking of heat, after I pulled all of these PAR numbers and the light was as warm as it was going to get, I took temperature measurements of the light bars, which were 103 degrees Fahrenheit or 39 degrees Celsius, and the driver was sitting at 105 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 Celsius, and the tent it was sitting in was at 78 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius. Getting up to 36 inches and the highest light level is at 661 par with a gradual drop off out to the edges. With an auto flower grow using 18 hours of light, these par levels would be more than you need at the end of the grow. And if you go to 20 or 22 hours of light, you could reduce it even more. These numbers yet again are showing the power of a bar style grow light and keeping your light levels even across the entire canopy, which is important when you plan to fill up the tent as much as possible in your grow. Finally, with the light hung at 48 inches, the highest light levels are at 555 par with around 450 par at the far corners. The light spread at this height is incredibly even across the entire canopy, which is really great to see. We are still using the Apogee SQ420 Smart Quantum Sensor to take all of these measurements, and it is working out really well. It is just the sensor itself and plugs into a PC to get these readings, so it is a bit more affordable than your standalone units. We will leave an Amazon affiliate link to it down below if that is something you are interested in checking out. I am super excited that Vipar Spectra has finally come out with their bar style lights as they are my favorite to grow with. I love the light spread that they provide, and it is really nice that theirs is a folding version so that you don't need to assemble it, just hang it up and get to growing. We will be starting a grow series in the next couple of weeks where you can watch us grow with this light and see how it works out for us. Next week we will have a tent setup video, and the grow series will start up after that. These lights have just gone on sale so that you can pick one up as well. Check out our links in the video description and use code HIPPIEGEEKS at checkout to get 3% off your order on one of these new KS series of lights. Thank you to Vipar Spectra for sending over this light for us to check out. And a big shout out goes to our channel members here on YouTube and patrons over on Patreon that have pledged at the trimmer level. While all of our members and patrons help keep this channel going, you folks have gone above and beyond and we really appreciate it.